All right, welcome to the Getting Started Guide for Google Calendar. I just want to point out a few things to get you all set up and ready to roll. This is a brand new instance. No, you know, no settings have been done. Uh, no calendar events have been migrated or anything like that. So this is a brand new, fresh calendar. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is up here in the left-hand corner uh, is to get, get into the settings and make a few minor changes. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is set your language, obviously. Uh, it's probably going to default to English, uh, as well as your um, country and uh, time zone. Uh, there is some ability to do different uh, time zones, so you can enter a label. So I'm going to put in like PST here for Pacific, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Save in a moment, but um, I want to point out that you can also add additional time zones. So if you're dealing uh, with, you know, people in uh, Eastern Time or Central Time, Mountain Time, whatnot, uh, you can uh, choose that. And there's a bunch of options here. Um, right now, because I'm in the United States, I only have uh, a few options. But if you're um, setting, for instance, time in Zambia or Zimbabwe, you can you can have that time zone show up as well. The date format, some you know general personal settings, uh, when the week starts. Uh, something I do want to point out is the custom view, and the custom view gives you uh, sort of your own view of your calendar, two days up to four weeks all in one view. Uh, so nice handy little thing uh, to add uh, into your calendar. Uh, you also have you know the obvious day view and and uh, week view and that sort of thing, but it's just a little extra. And uh, you can also set your location. And if you need to know the weather outside, uh, you can select uh, turning the weather on and show events that you've declined. Uh, so there's some there's some really um, good things to take a just a moment and do a quick configuration, set the settings however you'd like. And uh, when you're done, go ahead and save. And you'll see up here the four days four day view and looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and pop back into settings and look at the calendars. Now calendars is something, a calendar in, in Gmail is, or in uh, Google Calendar is, is a little bit different than other systems that you may be familiar with. Uh, it gives you a consolidated view um, and that's by default. So I have one calendar here but if I wanted to create a new calendar what would happen is over here in the left hand column I would see that there would be multiple calendars listed because they belong to me. Other calendars is a section that these are calendars that only you can view. You can't really um, you know, do anything with them uh, so they're considered in the other category. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, as you're adding calendars, uh, for instance, I'm a big NBA fan. Uh, I have all of my favorite teams' calendars pumped into my Google Calendar. Um, and over time, you know, the more calendars you get, the more you don't really need to see them all on one particular day. And uh, I'll show you how to disable those in just a moment. We'll go ahead and click over to the mobile setup and you'll see that I haven't configured uh, any sort of SMS notifications or anything for my mobile phone uh, but you do have the option of doing that uh, so that um, if you have an event and you want an SMS sent to your phone you can you can have that uh, pop up on your phone Google Calendar also has labs uh, which is a great little feature uh, same as Gmail uh, but different, uh, same concept in terms of a lab, but different functionality. So I think one of the, the ones I like the best is the event attachments. So you can attach a, a, uh, a document or presentation or whatnot uh, into the event and send that event along to the meeting attendees. So there are a few others here. Take a moment to get familiar with what there is. If there's functionality that you think you're missing in the calendar, I would strongly urge you to take a look at uh, the, the Google Calendar Labs. Oftentimes, the functionality that you think you're missing, or that, that may in fact be missing, but um, there's some different functionality in Gmail that uh, that will get you to the end goal that you know you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to go back into the calendar and just show you a little bit of what um, these calendars over on the right hand side here will do. So you'll notice I don't have any red um, uh, events on my calendar. 
Um, but I do have this blue one, U.S. Holidays. So today is May 5th, uh, and if I click on the event, I can see that it's, you know, just view details. No big deal there. Uh, but I can remove those. If you'll notice up here, as soon as I click the calendar, it becomes unhighlighted, and it disappears from my calendar. This is, uh, this is very different from other email systems uh, because it gives you a view of the entire of, of all of your calendars in one view so let's say I have an event that's red and I'm just gonna put in here that it's a test event I'm just gonna go ahead and create that event but I could also if I wanted to create a task and say this is a task Forgot. I need to add an action. Where is the action? Oh, there it is. All right. The due date is today, and you'll see that the that the uh, the task shows up here at the top at the the top of the um, column, and I can very quickly just assign that is done, and that is pretty much it. All right. So if uh, keep in mind by selecting the calendars, the calendar view is going to change. Uh, you'll notice up here I put in the PST, so you'll see the PST um, flag, and you can switch through here and see the different views of the count of your calendar. And one that I think is particularly sort of interesting is the agenda view. Uh, you can um, you can see a list, a running list of all of the um, calendar events that you have, and you can expand them and see some of the details. Uh, so pretty useful, pretty handy little little uh, addition there, the agenda view. So that is it for Google Calendar, and uh, let us know if you have any questions.